Okay, I'm just doing a demonstration on how to do a time, the timing on a Toyota 3SFE engine. Now, to set it up, you've got your, all your pulleys, you've got your crankshaft, your camshaft, your tensioner, which is the adjuster for the belt, your oil pump, your water pump, and your idler, and that's just a fixed idler on a bearing. Now, two things to be careful of is you want to set it up for top dead centre on firing on number one cylinder and that means that it should be ready to fire on number one so to, to do that on this particular vehicle you need to have the crankshaft with the keyway to 12 o'clock and you also you put the cover back on and you can put the pulley on and turn it by, in, in clockwise rotation until the marks line up on the timing cover to zero to the notch there's a notch on the pulley oh, on the actual crankshaft pulley with, with the damper on it once you've got those up to zero this camshaft gear, it should have a bit above where the bolt bolts the actual gear to the shaft. You'll see a hole in the gear, and that should line up with the hole on the. Um, there's a journal in behind it, and you should see a hole in there. Sometimes you won't be able to see that, and for that reason, I'm going to show you how, to, how I do it. Um, fail safe way to do it if the belt's still in the vehicle and it hasn't slipped the timing. This is how I do it. Okay. Now, um, I'll go through the belt path in a moment, but basically, um, on, the, on the, the cam pulley teeth, I mark two marks with a, with a whiteout uh, paint type one that you paint on. You paint it on, paint the whole tooth, and also the tooth that matches with that on the, on the timing belt, paint that as well, so it's clear that those three points go together. And then on the bottom of the, where the, cr the crankshaft is, I do exactly the same thing. Mark two teeth on the gear, and then one tooth on the that mates into it on the belt. And what that does, because this here is, through this idler here, there's no adjustment, so it just spins. So technically, this whole path, which I'll show you right now, is a fixed, is, is fixed and not adjustable. The adjustments made on the other side of the of the cam, so that means that if you've got those two points marked and you count the amount of teeth on the belt three times to confirm the number, write it down and then count it three times to confirm that you are correct. So the profile down is one, and then count all those profile downs to the next mark, and you get a number like 50 or something like that write that down and, and check it three times and make sure you, you are 100% correct because if you don't do it it's not going to run properly. So what happens is you've got the belt that comes straight down off the cam to the water pump, around the water pump, behind the idler, down through the, under the crankshaft, around the outside of the oil pump and then it goes underneath inside the tensioner and then around the outside of the camshaft. Now if this is out, if, this is a, if, if you've got this at 12 o'clock and you adopt at the bottom, then you're, you're one crankshaft revolution out because the cam, camshaft twice, pulley is twice the size of the crankshaft pulley. That means that this travels at half the speed that this goes. So one revolution of this is only half a revolution of this. So that's why you need to be key weight to 12 um, and that hole in the gear should be at 12 o'clock also. Or should actually line up. Should be on the top half anyway. It should line up with the dot and the and behind on the cam journal. You better see it if you can get in there. If you can't, the tooth method is the best way to do it. Um, the tensioner has a spring in behind it on the on the plate that it's mounted to, to the thing with, and that pulls the tension on the belt. And I'll show you how to adjust all that. And um, um, another key point is don't just buy a cam belt. They might be 50 bucks, but um, you're going to end up in a lot of trouble if you don't do the main things that wear, which is the tensioner itself. So you can buy a kit. Um, you know, I got one from uh, Break Breaking Transmission in New Zealand, and you get basically with a kit, you get the belt, you get the tensioner, complete tensioner and spring assembly. You get an idler. You get the crankshaft oil seal, the camshaft oil seal, the oil pump oil seal. So all the oil seals are taken care of except for the water pump. 
Um, you need to also check the water pump because if you've done over 100,000 kilometres and the water pump needs doing, you're better off doing it then because otherwise if it fails you've got to pull the whole thing apart again to get the water pump because the water pump's inside, the, you know, around, around the valve. Okay, so that's pretty much the, the keys to it. I can show you a bit more when we get out in the workshop. Thanks for watching.